Welcome to RCR New Zealand. We are hosted by Camshaft Software, makers of automation, a video game for every gearhead who said, I could make a better car company. Well, this is your chance to put up or shut up. From cam profiles to fleet marketing, you do it all. And thanks to them, regular car reviews made it to New Zealand, the planet's bonus track. Sweet as. Honda CB400 Super 4. The CB400 this week. Let's see. This is a Honda CB400 SF, also called the CB400 Super 4. It's a general purpose medium displacement inline four cylinder motorcycle with a standard riding position. It was first manufactured in 1992 to replace the long standing Honda CB400 and 450 parallel twin cylinder motorcycles of the 1980s, but only within the Japan and Southeast Asia markets. North America never got this bike. No lightweight, high revving, microscopic stroked four cylinders with double cams and four valves for us. Nope. Oh, sure, we had the 600s and the 654s, but drop below 600 cc's and everything becomes lopy parallel twins or one-lungers. Honda thought, Yanks don't want revs, they just want torque. So no CB400 SFs for us. Redline is 12,500 RPM. The NC42E makes 53 horsepower at 10,500 RPM and 28 pound-feet of torque at 9,500 RPM using a compression ratio of 11.3 to 1. In 1999, the CB400 SF got VTEC and an interesting variation of VTEC at that. What it did was it closed two of the four valves below 6,750 RPM. It was a gas saving measure, so if you were just lugging the thing around, you'd be only running on two valves, and then when you open up, you get all four. This is one of the earlier bikes, so it's just four valves going all the time. The thinking was, look, we can get better gas mileage because when you're just commuting in traffic, you don't want the power anyway. But what it did do is change the power profile. Liquid cooled too. Small commuter bikes in the States never got something so modern. Yeah, the Ninja 250 had it, but that was it. And dual 296mm front ventilated discs. My Suzuki GS500 only came with one front disc. Fill a CB400 SF up with gas and oil and it weighs 423 pounds. With no torque and a heavy for its displacement steel frame, a CB400 SF off idle acceleration is like a bathroom sink on trickle. But as you twist, the power curve rises linearly. There are no spikes or surges, like a Harley Sportster has down low or a Yamaha R6 has up high. Here in New Zealand, learner bikes are sold at a premium on the second-hand market, perhaps because some people get on their learner's permit and then simply never get off of it. To get a learner's license, you do a knowledge test and then go to a testing center, hop on a tiny Suzuki that you ride around a little course, and if you can do that without exploding, you're good to go. It's more or less similar to getting your motorcycle license stateside, just quicker. But there's a catch. Learners can't drive before 6 a.m. and they can't drive after 10 p.m. They also can't take any passengers. As far as modifications go, this CB400 SF has aftermarket bars and levers and an eBay speedometer that a moth laid eggs inside. Larva eventually crawled out and Nathan just sort of left it how it was because nature. This bike also has what Nathan admits to be a fairly douchey aftermarket exhaust. Nathan purchased some baffles off of eBay that helps a little bit with the noise, but only in the way that a shot of whiskey helps with an amputation in the Civil War. <laughs> self-canceling turn signals died so you have to indicate manually but odds are you won't be on the spike terribly long since it won't take you long to get you where you're going considering how splitting down a motorway is more of a gray area in new zealand than it is in the states in the united states california you can split lanes everywhere else it's illegal the rules i could find from a new zealand traffic website seem to indicate that the question of legality is it depends 
Here we go. A motorcycle may overtake a vehicle on the right within the same lane if it is safe to do so. The traffic must be stationary or slow moving, and the way ahead must be clear. A motorcycle may overtake a vehicle on the left only if that vehicle is stationary or if it's turning right. It must not overtake on the left if the vehicle is turning left. Therefore, when traffic is stationary at the lights, you can lane split on either side. If traffic is moving slowly on the motorway, then you must only lane split to the right of the lane. Stick within 20 kilometers per hour or so of the speed of the other traffic, otherwise you will likely be stopped and charged with careless driving or dangerous driving, both of which carry a substantial fine. You must not ride down the extreme right of the motorway outside the line. Also, you must not ride in the hard shoulder unless it is a transit lane. Remember that as a motorcycle, you can use bus lanes where indicated, and these are likely to be safer than lane splitting because there will be a bigger margin. Visit www.drivingtest.co.nz Every day is a winding road. I got a little bit closer. On a CB400 SF, think of what speed you would like, and the NC42E engine rises to the needed RPM without any showmanship. And that predictable power delivery made this day in New Zealand the most natural. I was riding a motorcycle on a road. Not on the wrong side of the road, just a road. Because bikes are bilaterally symmetric, and all the controls are the same worldwide, so there's no left or right driving position, so nothing about this Honda was alien. So the road became familiar because my interface with it was familiar, and I didn't want to dismount. I wanted to ride this coast road until it ended and watch the islands just off the mainland move past as I leaned through endless low-speed corners and straights, which rose and fell like the waves 200 meters to my side. I thought about how back home stateside there was some recreational outrage scrolling by in everybody's feed. And, but here, there's only blue and green. At home, someone is having a public freakout in a school board meeting. And someone else is filming it to get them clicks. But here, it's a lovely day. Humans are playing. There's a pier. An orange buoy floats by on the water. And Toes by Zac Brown Band is playing in my head. And the road goes on. And the road goes on. Can you teach me about the throttle and other things tomorrow when you're free? Cause this Honda's just another bike Which I hear 